Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel and today we have an iPhone X game from another service with a no network problem and of course I'm going to show you what the hell is going on with this phone but uh, just uh, a fair warning this video will have a lot of uh, speedy cuts uh, just to make this video shorter and I will try to explain everything uh, but uh, again I'm going to uh, show you right now what is the problem insert the seam and speed forward So, as I said, we have a problem with the network, and we have a fake network in 2G, 3G, and LTE, and when I change between them, it still shows me a fake service. Now I'm going to try and call this phone from another phone, just to see if the network bars are real, which I'm guessing are not, and uh, I will try to call the operator also, and see if we can receive anything. So, the network is fake, obviously, and even when I'm calling, the network is fake, and it does not receive any calls. Uh, so now we are going to do our basic uh, diagnostics. Uh, of course, uh, we'll begin after we remove the board, so uh, let's jump under the microscope. So, <laughs> the board uh, looks awful, <laughs> like uh, literally someone puked on it. The shield has been removed, and also I guess the SIM card reader also. And of course, uh, one of the dumbest uh, hardware engineering uh, part is to put almost all the high, uh, low band uh, ICs and the transceivers uh, under the uh, seam. Of course, for Apple, that is a brilliant hardware engineering. But uh, hey, who am I to judge? Uh, so <laughs> I guess uh, the fun part will start now. I'm going to um, swap the RF uh, board, which is the downside one. And the rest of the video is going to be my work. So uh, I hope you like it, and I'm doing this, of course, because of the board condition. Uh, just to make sure not to waste all my time on it. Uh, so I guess let's uh, begin our work.
So, we did our board swap, and now before we solder the board together, the boards together, uh, we are going to check if everything's okay uh, and everything is working properly. And I'm going to use my layer board test fixture just to make sure that we have our network back and everything is okay. Okay, so our phone booted up and I inserted the SIM card. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is grayed out because I didn't unlock the Wi-Fi yet. And uh, here we go. As you can see, we have an LTE sign. That means that we don't have a fake service. Let's go and dial just to make sure on the operator. I didn't connect the upper flex cable, but in the end of the video, I'm going to test again. And now we're going to uh, solder the boards back together and test again. So we soldered the boards back together and as you can see everything is connected, the antenna and the Wi-Fi, I'm going to check uh, the Wi-Fi also because I already did an unlock using the purple mode, again not going to show it because for <laughs> just to make this video not that long and uh, now we are going to insert the seam and try our test our network again, let's go and dial the operator, I connected the um, the flex just to make sure yep we have uh, our voice call and everything looks okay so if you don't want to waste your time and you want uh, the solution very simple you can always just swap the, R, uh, the RF board and you are good to go so I guess the, that's it for this video thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure uh, to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and I will catch you guys in another repair video peace out